What is up you guys? What I'm gonna talk about today is one of the biggest myths about eating a lot of protein. And this is the myth that eating a lot of protein will hurt your kidneys. So if you watched the previous video about my three month experience as on carnivore, you know that I've been doing a bunch of blood work on myself because as a physician, I think this is a valuable tool and I wanted to have blood work to back it up. So there are a number of studies, some of which I will link to in the notes at the bottom, which show that this is a fallacy, but I did blood work on myself throughout this three months that I've been doing carnivore thus far. And what did it show? So I checked my kidney function a number of times and it was always normal and at the same baseline that I had before I was doing a carnivore diet. So let's, let's dig into this a little bit. How do we measure kidney function? The main thing that we use is something called creatinine. And we use a blood creatinine measure. That's the main way we do this. Now, creatinine is a breakdown product of creatine phosphate in the muscle. So, People that are a little more muscular have more creatine in the muscle and may have a slightly higher creatinine concentration in the blood. When creatine phosphate gets broken down, creatine is released. Creatine is then filtered by the glomerulus, which is a part of the kidney, and then also excreted by the proximal tubule in the kidney. And there's no creatinine that's reabsorbed. So the blood measure of creatinine can give us an indication of how well the kidneys are functioning. It's not a perfect measure. And the way we do this is we look at the blood creatinine concentration and we can calculate what's called an EGFR, an estimated glomerular filtration rate, which is the amount of plasma that is being filtered through the glomerulus, which is a microscopic structure in the kidney, and gives us an indication of how well the kidneys are working. Okay, so my baseline creatinine is about one. And throughout this experiment on the carnivore diet, it was 0.95 to one. So it didn't change at all, suggesting that my kidneys are working the same as they were before my carnivorous diet. Now I'm a little more muscular, I'm a man, so I have more muscle. So my creatinine is a little higher than someone that's smaller or less muscular, but it's at a baseline and it suggests a normal glomerular filtration rate for me that didn't change at all eating three and a half pounds of meat a day. So. Because I'm interested in this topic and because it's something that gets misconstrued so often, I also did another measure of kidney function called a cystatin C. And a cystatin C is a novel marker of kidney function that doesn't have to do as much with body composition or muscles. And so I suspected that these would both be normal and they were. The cystatin C was 0.6, which is also at the low end of normal. Cystatin C is a breakdown product of a protein in the body that also gets filtered in the glomerulus. It doesn't get secreted in the proximal tubule like creatinine, but it has a similar filtration in the glomerulus like creatinine. It doesn't come from muscle though, it comes from somewhere else. But what we can see in people with chronic kidney disease or acute kidney disease is that cystatin C will also rise. So a normal creatinine that's the same as my previous baseline and a normal cystatin C after months of eating three plus pounds of meat a day, I think substantiate the fact that high protein diet is not gonna harm your kidneys. This is a fallacy. So I will link to my blood work, the cystatin C, the creatinine, and the other things below, and I will link to some articles. The other thing I will mention here is that when you eat a high protein diet, the BUN may rise. The BUN is the blood urea nitrogen, but the BUN is not an indicator of kidney function like the creatinine or the cystatin C are. The BUN is merely a surrogate in this case of how much protein you're eating. So a higher BUN is nothing to be worried about in this case. There are other situations in medicine when we look at a high BUN, but this is not one of them. And I've heard nephrologists talk about this as well. Jason Fung was on Sean Baker's podcast and talked about this. Uh, there's an idea that a high BUN has been associated with kidney dysfunction in the past, but does not indicate kidney dysfunction. A high protein diet will cause an increased BUN, but is non-pathologic. So you'll see in my labs, my BUN is high because I'm eating quite a bit of protein. So my BUN is a little high because I'm eating tons of protein, 
my creatinine is normal, my cystatin C is normal, my kidneys work just fine doing this. There's no uh, basis for the idea that a high protein diet is gonna hurt your kidneys. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Leave comments, questions below. Subscribe if you want more content like this. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos in the future about all of my labs on a carnivorous diet. And I'm gonna be doing more videos on my channel about functional medicine, root cause medicine topics to help you get back to health in a fundamental way. All right, thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon.